Last summer, I cycled out to town, round to the inland side of Inshore's Basin, where the Scottish Wildlife Trust has a couple of wildlife hides. As I got off the main roads and cycled out to the hides, I was really struck by the peace of it. It was a quiet, beautiful Sunday morning, filled with bird song. I even caught a glimpse of a hare, but I wasn't quick enough to get the photo. It just felt so special to be surrounded by nature and to have the place to myself. I got to the Shell Duck Hide, which was a new building, replacing a previous one that was in danger of falling into the river. The hide overlooks the River South Esk just before it joins the estuary basin. Sketching in the hide is a good way to occupy my hands to keep me more patient and observant. It maybe wouldn't work on a busy location, but I was lucky to have it to myself. I settled on a view which included the older hide building. I liked the idea of celebrating birdwatching itself. For all the destructive ways we interact with nature as a species, the effort people go to to catch a glimpse of nature without disturbing it is hopeful. It's peaceful. I tried a couple of compositions in my sketchbook and I preferred the one where the hide was a little further back because it seemed more immersed in nature. On the sandpaper, I start with a rough sketch of the scene, then work from the background to the foreground, sky first. I scrum over the most distant landscape, which is the sky colour. This helps with the aerial perspective, making humans seem more distant. Next I choose a dark brown pastel and use it to place the darker values in the scene. The distant trees, the hide itself, the banks of the river. I go darker than I will want it to be in the end because it allows me to paint light on later and leave the darker values to be the shadows. I can't remember why I moved the camera at this point but I'm sorry it's at a ridiculous angle that makes my hand look gigantic. I use a warmer brown for the underpainting of the grassy foreground areas. Generally the foreground is warmer and the redder tones contrast with the greens that I'll be putting over the top later. I use some greens to give the impression of the trees and fields on the distant bank. The sky colour comes in to define the path of the river. I 
I used some lighter sandy tones and greens for the banks of the river and the muddy areas alongside the water. I use pastel pencils to work on the fine details of the height. They allow me to get much smaller, more precise marks. I'm working at a very small scale here. The finished painting is only 6 by 4 inches. I want it to be clear that it's a wooden shed and the small marks help give the impression of details like the mossy roof and the windows. The last big area to work on are those foreground grasses. I use different greens and browns to give variety, allowing the darker underpainting to show in places as the shadows. Then over the top I can add lighter details catching the light and showing the direction of the grasses and the impression of more detail. After I finished my drawing, I decided to explore the other height too. Since I'd come all this way, I underestimated how far it would be and that it was guarded by a herd of very inquisitive cattle. I didn't think about it, but I was still wearing my cycle helmet as I walked up to the hide and I felt a little bit intimidated by the way they crowded around me. So during my time in the hide, I was a little bit worried about leaving and whether I'd be able to walk past them all and walk all the way up the field without being followed. But I had sensibly taken off my cycle helmet and they didn't seem as interested in me on the way back. The widgeon hide is raised and it gives a view over the western shore of the basin. It wasn't the optimum time to visit because the tide was out. The waders tend to come close to the hide as the tide comes in. I tried to get some photos of the darting swallows in flight, but they're just so fast. The flock of young starlings was happy to pose for me though. I was reluctant to leave the reserve, it was just so peaceful, and it was a magical experience to have it to myself on such a beautiful day. But I have a little piece of art and photos to remember the experience by. Thanks for joining me. Until next time, get outdoors, be inspired and create.